in this video i'm going to be telling you why i moved from canon m50 and why i chose the fujifilm xt4 camera if you're ready let's get on with the video So here we have it now, here is a quick unboxing of the Fujifilm X-T4. So, leaflets and banners, this is, a, this is one of the biggest user manuals I've seen from a camera manufacturer. And if there is one thing I like, what I've noticed with Fuji, they are good at being very detailed with all the information. So I got the XT4, the body, and also I got the 18 to 55 mm um, mm lens, uh, f 2.8 to 4. This should be the lens. This should be the lens and yep, the lens. The 18 to 55. Oops, the, the camera itself. The XT4. I got the silver, the silver body. It, I got this because it looks more vintage and uh, beautiful. So put this aside and let's see what else is in the box. We have here the USB USB C cable, the the charging the charging brake. The USB C to headphone jack dongle because compared to the XT3 where you had the uh, 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 headphone headphone jack Fuji removed that and replaced it with a, a dongle, so now you have to plug this to the UE. And compared to the X-T3 one more time again, Fuji was able to also increase the size of the battery. And if there's one thing I've noticed and I've researched that Fuji does is they listen to their community. And that's one thing Canon really lacks. I also got the 35mm uh, Fuji Prime Lens. And I think this was for one ninety nine dollars. Why did I move from the Canon M fifty to the Fujifilm XT four? Well, that was very a very easy decision, even though it was painful, but I had to do it. I got the Canon M fifty like months 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 back and i was really enjoying the camera but the camera had many limitations especially when it came to 4k it had 4k 24 but it was really terribly cropped and it didn't have the canon canon award-winning um, autofocus system that it, it, it normally comes in other canon cameras and there were lots of expectations and requests from people who really used the m50 don't get me wrong the m50 is canon's top selling i think it's the most the highest selling mirrorless camera that canon has because it's being used by a lot of youtubers bloggers a lot of family people uh, a lot of people get it for for their for their family photos and videos and everything and it was really selling in the market then fast forward to some few weeks back and Canon releases the M50 Mark II, the second version of the Mark I. And guess what they did? They literally just brought the same camera and just changed the, the name from Mark I to Mark II without changing anything. The only thing, the only improvement they claimed they did was add a vertical video. 
and nothing really if you look at the specs for the mark ii the m50 mark ii nothing really was was changed in the camera it just felt like canon just said okay they won't notice let's just give them something let's just rebrand it let's just change the name and the, and they won't pay attention to the specs and we'll just give it out to them and they'll take it and they'll rush to the market and buy it hell no I wasn't going to do that so what I did I sold I sold my M50 and all my Canon lenses and I added money and I went I did my research I was very close to getting the Sony A7C but I needed something that could do 4k 60 something that could do 10 bits something 10 bits something that could do both photography that could excel excellently in both photography and videography something that was really hybrid and i ended up settling for the fuji xt4 <clears throat> so and from all my research because i'm someone that whenever i want to get a camera i sit down and seriously do my research the xt4 is an hybrid aps-c aps-c mirrorless camera from fuji and some of the new features it comes with is in-body image stabilization, uh, improved sh shooting quality, uh, much more bigger battery, and everything that you've all that people have always enjoyed with the XT3 has also been included with the XT4. So, what are some of the features that comes with the XT4? The XT4 comes it is a 26 megapixel camera like i said earlier it comes with an in, in, in body image stabilization that takes it six steps um it has a 20 frames per second shooting shooting with autofocus it also it comes with 4k at up to 60p it also comes with 120 120 and 240p 240 um, 1080p for slow motion it also has a fully articulate uh, articulated um, touch screen LCD touch screens um, it also has a large battery the XT, uh, XT4 also comes with a large battery comes with a large battery which is way more I think with with this battery you can shoot close to 500 shots before the battery dies compared to the XT3 where you could snap up to 340 50 um, still images so this is almost two times bigger than the battery you have in the XT3 it also has a USB-C um, also has a USB-C for charging and it has a micro uh, HDMI for a video output uh, it also comes with a, a mic input and like I said in the unboxing it comes with a USB-C to a um, headphone uh, um, headphone uh, jack port um, dongle where that you can use to plug to the USB C to the USB type C port for listening to what you're recording. So comes embedded with the thing that people have always loved with Fuji cameras. It has a it has the uh, 12 film stimulation modes that people always love with Fuji because Fuji if you don't know just like they say with Canon Fuji has one of the best picture quality and also it has an improved autofocus system Fuji also improved the photo autofocus system that you had in the ST3 and they improved it further with the ST4 also if I forget it also has which is the most important one you also have two um, two UHS two uh, card slots where for, for simultaneous um, recording so now you could record you could instead of just recording into one card you can also sim simultaneously record 
into two cars just in case one of the cars get damaged you can still have some uh, backup and recovery from the second card slot so also some of the things i've noticed and i love also is the control that fuji gives you when it comes to using their cameras like you could easily customize all the buttons you hear on the camera and also and you have some you have the dials the dials where that are also yeah and it does this the way the dial the dials are it gives the, the camera like this nice classic vintage look but still has that power to deliver everything you want it to deliver so i am so excited i am going to be putting this camera to test i have some shoots coming up and i'm going to be using this camera rigorously and <laughs> i'm so excited and like i said also it comes with the 18 to 55 kit lens and also you you have the choice of choosing the 18 to 55 and the 16 to 80 16 to 80 um mm um uh, kit lens so for pricing the st4 goes for 1699 dollars for just the body alone and if you want the 18 to 55 uh, kit lens and the body you it goes for two thousand and ninety nine dollars which is two thousand one hundred dollars but if you all i think if you also want the the 16 to 80 uh kit lens and the camera itself i think that goes for two thousand two hundred so i'll put the I'll put the accurate price on the screen you might say it's kind of high compared to sony cameras and canon cameras that are out there in the market you hardly find an APS-C mirrorless camera that can do everything you want it to do from taking pictures or filming i've checked on youtube and i've seen a lot of people who have filmed lots of movies and banners for movie movies that are, that are about to be released in the movie theaters and out there online i've seen people who have used this to shoot music videos and decked it up with their gimbals and everything and it can't it's people would say full frame crop sensor all this all that but at the end of the day the camera is as good as the person who handles it you could use a smartphone to film you could use a very expensive camera to film by the end of the day it's the output is what you is what you use the camera to do that matters is not the name or the brand or that matters so at the end of the day whether you use full frame or you use crop sensors cameras at the end of the day it's what you end up doing with it but all i can say is for the price this is a very capable hybrid camera to conclude you would ask me Will I recommend this camera for people? Well, yes I will, but it all depends on what projects you want to do with it. For its price, this is a very capable camera. I am excited to put this to the test and soon you shall be seeing every video that I will be shooting with this camera and images that will be coming up from this camera in my subsequent YouTube videos. Also, I'm currently using the Samsung Galaxy X20 Ultra to film this video, but moving forward, the ST4 will be my primary camera and we shall, you should be seeing the quality that will be coming out from the camera. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, a like, share, subscribe, and till next time, it's peace. Thank you.